In a recent discovery, scientists have detected potential signs of alien life on another planet. However, it's not the complex life we often imagine conquering the universe, but rather a simple bacterial life. This planet, known to have water, and situated in the habitable zone of its parent star marks a significant finding. Yet before we break out the celebratory champagne, let's remember the cautionary tale of past announcements like the one from Venus a few years ago. Confirming this discovery will require extensive data analysis and verification. We delve into the details of this intriguing revelation. Focusing on the exoplanet K218b, as our beloved James Webb Space Telescope once again makes an incredible discovery. Dimethyl sulfide on its surface. Could dimethyl sulfide be an indicator of life on K218b? What do we already know about this fascinating exoplanet? And why does the science from this planet hold potential for signs of life? What is an M-type star? A red dwarf, or an M-type star, is essentially the most common type of star in the entire galaxy. Today, we know that many stars like this host very intriguing planetary systems. One of the most captivating examples is the TRAPPIST-1 system, boasting seven terrestrial planets in its orbit. Even the nearby star Proxima Centauri hosts a planet within its habitable zone, making it the closest and one of the most exciting exoplanets to us. It's estimated that approximately 80% of all M-type stars, or red dwarfs, have planets in habitable zones, with many confirmed in the last decade. However, there are challenges associated with studying these stars and their planets. Many of these planets are likely tidally locked, meaning they always show the same side to the star, resembling an eyeball planet. Additionally, red dwarfs emit more infrared than optical light, raising questions about whether complex life or even photosynthesis could evolve on these planets due to the specific types of light they receive. K218 K218, the star of interest, is slightly more massive than a typical red dwarf, producing a bit more optical light. It is located in the Leo constellation, about 124 light years away from our Sun. It's smaller and cooler than the Sun, with a temperature of about 3,457 Kelvin, around 3,184 degrees Celsius, or 5,763 degrees Fahrenheit, and a radius, about 45%, that of the Sun. Despite being relatively close, it's not visible to the naked eye. Red dwarfs are known for their high activity levels, often producing intense flares that can strip a planet's atmosphere in just a few million years. Nonetheless, K218 appears to be less active than other red dwarfs, offering hope for the planet's long-term stability. The star is estimated to be around 2.4 billion years old and shows some moderate activity, though it's uncertain whether it has spots on its surface that could cause misleading signals when a planet passes in front of it. Is K218b a Hycean world? One of the planets orbiting K218 is K218b, also known as EPIC 2019-12552b. This exoplanet, initially discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, is about eight times the mass of Earth, earning it the classification of a mini-Neptune. It completes an orbit around its star every 33 days, placing it within the habitable zone, where conditions might allow for the existence of liquid water. Through additional observations, in 2019, scientists have also found a significant amount of hydrogen on K218 by, suggesting that the planet may have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere similar to that of a typical gas giant. This discovery led scientists to propose a new type of planet called a high-shorn planet, essentially a water world with a thick layer of hydrogen. This type of planet could potentially be the most common type in the entire galaxy. A high-shorn planet would be a peculiar ocean world, featuring a dense hydrogen atmosphere with an ocean surface below. However, the water on this planet would be in a supercritical state, unlike anything found on Earth except for extreme environments like black smokers, hydrothermal vents. Despite its extreme conditions, such environments on Earth are known to harbor diverse forms of life. Discoveries on K218b Despite being unlike anything we can imagine, K218b is neither a typical gas giant nor a terrestrial planet, but rather something in between, leading to a density that falls between that of Neptune and Earth measuring approximately 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. This unique characteristic contributes to its intriguing nature. The K218 star system is not new. It's believed to be at least two and a half billion years old, suggesting that the planet has existed in its current state for a considerable period. However, recent observations have unveiled additional aspects of K218b's composition. Initially, methane was detected, which, while not definitive, sparked excitement given methane's role on Earth as both a byproduct of biological activity and a greenhouse gas. Subsequently, carbon dioxide, CO2, was identified, marking the first ever discovery of CO2 in the habitable zone of a planet outside of Earth. 
Although the presence of methane and CO2 doesn't conclusively indicate the presence of life, their detection within K218b's habitable zone is significant. While both gases can be produced naturally, their presence adds to the intrigue surrounding this exoplanet. It's worth noting that while Venus and Mars also have significant amounts of CO2, the detection of CO2 on K2 to 18b within its habitable zone adds a new dimension to our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres, the detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS. The most surprising discovery came with the detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound not commonly known but significant due to its exclusive association with Earth's oceans. DMS is solely produced by marine life, particularly certain types of microbial organisms like phytoplankton, which convert sulfur in the ocean into this unique gas. It's worth noting that DMS is the largest emitter of sulfur on the planet, aside from volcanoes, which emit sulfur dioxide, a distinct gas. Remarkably, research on climate change has revealed multiple sources of DMS, particularly in the Arctic, where various studies focused on aerosols' impact on planetary reflectivity and cooling effects. However, every detected source of DMS on Earth is attributed to microalgae or phytoplankton, indicating the absence of any other natural source. This underscores the significance of the detection of DMS on K218b, raising intriguing possibilities. However, given previous instances, such as the 2020 claims of phosphine detection in the clouds of Venus, which were later disproven, caution is warranted in interpreting these findings. Excitement about the results was voiced by Dr. Robert Massey, Deputy Director of the Royal Astronomical Society in London, who remarked, We are gradually advancing towards the moment when we might finally answer the profound question of whether we are alone in the universe. As reported by BBC News, Utilising the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists can scrutinise the light filtering through the atmosphere of a distant planet, enabling them to discern the chemical imprints of its molecules. Given that DMS is exclusively produced by microalgae or phytoplankton on Earth, its detection on another planet implies one of several possibilities, each with profound implications. This revelation opens new avenues for understanding planetary atmospheres and the potential for life beyond Earth. It could be a mistake. The first possibility to consider regarding the detection of DMS on K218b is the chance that it could be a mistake, a misinterpretation of data that may be resolved in the coming months as further analysis is conducted. This scenario isn't unprecedented in the realm of space exploration. For instance, similar excitement arose in 2020 with the claimed detection of phosphine in the clouds of Venus which was later refuted after more thorough investigation. Such instances highlight the importance of cautious interpretation and rigorous scrutiny in the face of groundbreaking discoveries. Therefore, while the detection of DMS is intriguing, it's essential to await further confirmation and scrutiny before drawing definitive conclusions. Secondly, there is the intriguing prospect that DMS could be generated through some yet unknown chemical processes unique to the extreme conditions of these high-shorn planets. These conditions, characterized by scalding temperatures, high pressures and likely darkness, present an environment ripe for unconventional chemistry that defies our current understanding. Presence of extraterrestrial phytoplankton However, the most exhilarating explanation lies in the potential presence of extraterrestrial phytoplankton thriving on an exoplanet located 110 light-years away from Earth. The environmental conditions of K218b, resembling those of hydrothermal vents on Earth, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of life existing beyond our solar system. The observations from the James Webb Space Telescope strongly suggest that K218b is an ocean world with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere nestled within the habitable zone of its parent star, further heightening the intrigue surrounding this discovery. Different atmospheric composition. Distinguishing K218b from any known planetary body within our solar system is its significantly different atmospheric composition. Water vapor constitutes approximately 1% of the atmosphere, a stark contrast to any known celestial body in our vicinity. Moreover, the atmosphere itself makes up at least 6% of the planet's total mass, a remarkable departure from Earth's composition, but still significantly less than typical gas giants. The detection of DMS holds profound implications. As on Earth, it is primarily produced by biological activity and plays a crucial role in climatic processes. However, the exact mechanisms behind its presence on K218b remain a mystery, awaiting further investigation. While the notion of extraterrestrial life is captivating, caution is warranted. As premature conclusions, as seen with previous announcements regarding potential life on Venus, may lead to misconceptions. Confirmation of these propositions, particularly regarding the existence of extraterrestrial life, 
will undoubtedly require extensive research and potentially even physical missions to K218b, a daunting task given its considerable distance from Earth. Therefore, for the time being, it may be prudent to entertain the possibility of alternative chemical explanations while remaining hopeful for the discovery of life beyond our planet.